reasons why Dogara returned to APC has been revealed well with the news of the former speaker of the House of Representatives, retired Honorable Yakubu Dogara dumping the People's Democratic Party PDP for the All Progressive Congress APC. Many have been wondering what could have led to the shocking move by the Bauchi born politician. Okay, the move by Dogara was more stunning knowing that Dogara was only a few days ago the chairman of the screening committee of the PDP in the Undo 2020 governorship election, with many saying the assignment given to him by the national leadership of the PDP as an indication that all was well within the party. Well, now Dogara had on Friday joined the All Progressive Congress following a meeting with President Mamadou Buhari in the company of Malamai Malaboni, governor of Yobe State and the chairman of the APC Interim Caretaker Committee. Well, but amid the speculations as to the possible reasons behind the defection of the top-class lawmaker, it has now emerged that his region and geopolitical zone could have played a big part in his decision to return to the All Progressive Congress. Okay, it was gathered that Dugara didn't just decide to join the APC again on his own. But some of the port party echelon of the party in Abuja and even his state of Bauchi looked at the circulations within the APC and intimated the former speaker that his chances of being relevant politically in the APC are much more brighter than if he remains in the People's Democratic Party PDP, especially as regards as regards the 2023 circulation. Okay, if you look across the All Progressive Congress, and then not almost all the heavyweight politicians are mostly Muslims, with perhaps only Boss Mustafa, the Secretary to Government of the Federation and Chairman of the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19, the only big politician with a Christian extraction, and Boss Mustafa himself is not particularly a rallying figure in the North even within the APC in his home state of Adamawa. Okay, so Dogara joining the APC gives the party more option within the party in case the APC top hierarchy decides to settle for a southern Muslim politician as the party's presidential candidate in 2023 with a northern Christian used as his running mate. Okay, of course, when the APC is mulling the possibility of having a southern Muslim as a presidential flag bearer, then it is national leader and former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tionombo, appears to be its best bet and only option. According to findings, it was gathered that despite the dissolution of the Adam Soshomole led National Working Committee NWC by the National Executive Council, neck of the party, the interim caretaker committee and the presidency are still open to the Bola Tinumbu presidency in 2023. And if the Jagaban manages to get the nod as the standard bearer of the party, Honorable Dogara would easily slot in as his vice presidential running mate in 2023. Okay, recall that Tinumbu being a Muslim prevented him from being Buhari's running mate in 2015 following the backlash that greeted the idea of a Muslim Muslim ticket and this led Tinumbu to drop his ambition and gave Professor Yemi Oshiba Ju the nod instead. So 2023 is Tinumbu's best chance of finally achieving his lifelong dream of occupying our soul 
rock okay drogara being from bauchi state at the northeast zone it is another advantage following the outcry from the zone to be reckoned with in the circulation for a plum job within the presidency the northeast zone has always felt cheated when it comes to sharing political officers with former vice president atiku abubakar being the highest the zone has attained since the return of democracy in 1999 and incidentally boss mustafa is half from the northeast and this means if the circulation is right that tinumbu gets the presidential ticket the running mate slot would be a keenly contested battle between dugara and boss mustafa well a lot of reactions so far Wow, it is said that Dugara is an underestimated idiot. Hmm. Wow, that is another one. Dugara is an underestimated idiot. Well, this person must have his reasons for saying that. Well, we, the southern extraction of Nigeria, prefer a northern Christian to remain in power than given us a southern Muslim. Atiku versus Tinumbu. Well, that is some what somebody has just suggested right now. Where ordinary human being that may sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow morning. We forget there is someone that may request for your soul any second from now. Where's our tough CSO? Where is the great Ajumobi? May their soul rest in peace. Wow, this is serious. Well, Abakiari calculated and Fontua also calculated, but the best records of life and death are with Almighty Allah. Some of our records are smelling to the extent that the angel of death is not happy at the time of taking our souls. Death is never to all of us. Well, Death is nearer to all of us. Yes, that is it. Well, only fools are busy calculating how to rule this country in order to loot the people's resources. Dogara is a fool betrayer. Him will regret. He will regret it in no time. Nonsense, politicians. Wow, this is getting serious. Twitter line is getting hot right now. A lot of people are pumping in different comments. Well, whatever reasons that prompted such miscalculated cross carpenting will surely amount to effort in futility. Your political permutation is selfish interest driven. Okay, scammers everywhere going from one party to another is for your own personal selfish desire. Selfish politicians in Nigeria, scammers everywhere. Yes, that takes me to that word that says, Oh, Lenny, everybody, any lemobane barao. That takes me to where he says, Kwambe, and that is it. Well, we just need a leader that we give all of Nigeria good direction, not otherwise. Mm-hmm. Dogara is silent achiever, a democrat. He always does what his constituency want. Okay, what his constituent constituency want? I think that's what that person is trying to say right now. That is a democrat. Okay, even is the campaign to PDP is the handiwork of his people. It is the people that vote who, whoever they want. Mm-hmm. Therefore, if a politician one, if a politician wants to succeed, he carry along his people's mandate. What I believe is, whatever party Dogara belongs, his people will follow his. Let politicians copy him. Well, everybody has his own freedom of speech right now. A lot of things can be said so far, but one thing for sure is that all these politicians are selfish politicians. They are just for themselves. And that is what we have seen so far. Guy, go and join any party that you feel like. Is it you that they want or is the party that they want? Rascal people. 
man proposes but god disposes that old clutch remains relevant till christ comes okay i lost respect for dogara mm -hmm. wow rally you make a wrong decision you will regret it okay they said Dugara had made a wrong decision. Okay, fine. That is what that person has said so far. And they said he is going to regret it. Well, the real reason is because of 2023 as a vice president to be Tunumbu plus Dugara. Okay, because of corruption issue, that's why he decamped. Okay, to APC, back to APC, APC to PDP, PDP back to APC. That is serious. Selfish politicians, just for their pockets, for their own good. All right, the guy wants to contest for governor in 2023, period. See, one thing about Nigerians is that they will always tend to qualify you, tell you what you are up to. In case you don't understand, a lot of people are watching and all hands have been kept on deck in making things work out for a better nigeria okay it is too late must it be a southern muslim apc buhari is a muslim from the north why not a christian from the south i am a northern but these muslims wanting to always be Thai head should stop because this is the reason why the country is not progressing. This is the reason why the country is not moving forward. Okay, Dogara is a useless and stupid man I see in this life. Oh my God. See, one thing you can never stop people from hearing their minds and that is one thing for sure about politics. And as far as politics is concerned, a lot of ups and downs will come in. But one thing I will tell you is that politics is not a straight business. It's a dubious game. Either you like it or not, all these people are just coming to embezzle money. They are not fighting for the good of the land. They all know what is going on in Asurok. But because of their own selfish reasons, that is why they kept mute. That is why a lot of things are falling apart. Nigerians are crying. Children are crying. There is no school. There is no church. And yet, everybody kept mute and joined themselves. There is God. -o. There is God. -o. And that is it. Well, meanwhile, let me have more takes from you. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.